man, award season is really heating up, isn't it? And I think we may have a new front runner to take home a bunch of awards. Man, am I glad I saw this. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to yet another brand new movie review, and as always, I thank you all so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoy your stay. And this time around, we are finally checking out Minati, written and directed by Lee Isaac Chung, starring Steven Yun, and this one has been hailed as an instant classic by many critics alike. It's been winning all these awards, garnering all these nominations, and I'm sure some from the Academy are next on their docket, and... I cannot wait to tell you all about it. A Korean-American family moves to an Arkansas farm in search of its own American dream. Amidst the challenges of this new life and the strange and rugged Ozarks, they discover the undeniable resilience of family and what really makes a home. So, okay, just to get this much out of the way, Every single praise you've heard about Minari going in, I'll just tell you this, after finishing the movie, those praises are 100% accurate. Minari was absolutely fantastic, and like I said at the top of this video, I think we have a new frontrunner to take home a bunch of golden statues. Maybe even potentially best picture in what looks to be a packed category this season. I found this story to be incredibly moving, and I don't know if it's too soon to say this, but I think Lee Isaac Chung might have just crafted a modern masterpiece. The direction and the cinematography alone should speak volumes about the overall quality of Minari, which in many ways I think should be commended for the simplicity of it all. And that's really what struck me about Minari as a whole, was its simplicity. Now sure, there's going to be some gargantuan ramifications with what these characters are going through, but what I'm getting at is this. With Minari... It never really felt like I was watching a movie. It all felt like I was watching real life. And sometimes, my friends, that's all a movie really needs to be. So, very simple in nature, and I was 100% invested in this film from the opening frame. Again, Lee Isaac Chung's script just has its way of drawing you in and making sure you stay invested for the duration of the film. The performances from every single cast member are just absolutely unreal. Every single character in this, you understand why they're feeling the way they are. And you notice an interesting little parallel between all these characters, because you'll notice when you watch the movie, every single character is pained in some way. And how they all overcome their specific pain is just so, so inspiring to watch. Again, it is such a smart script. Two of my favorites in this are Alan S. Kim as the young boy David, which is a superb child performance. It's just so cool to watch him do his thing. And of course, I gotta talk about Steven Yun for a little bit. Every single person knows him as Glenn from The Walking Dead. I'll be honest, I stopped watching that show after his departure because he just made every single episode so much more enjoyable for me. In Minari, he transforms himself into a completely different being here. It was so, so awesome to watch him sink into this role as well, and he was great. I would love to see the Academy at least recognize him with a nomination, but again, that's a packed category this season, but he would definitely be deserving of at least some recognition. He's absolutely fantastic, as is the rest of this cast, top to bottom. There is not one weak link in this. As far as issues go, I really only have one with Minari, and it's the ending. I get the ending, but it just kind of felt a bit abrupt to me in how it was handled. Like, it just kind of felt sudden. I honestly could have watched these characters live their lives for days, and even just adding one more scene onto the end of this, I feel would have really satisfied me. I was honestly kind of sad when the movie ended, but that's honestly one of the best compliments that I can give a movie. I loved Minari. I think it's a super interesting and investing story that should be a front runner to take home a bunch of awards right now, I'm giving it an A. When you can, I strongly, strongly recommend that you check this one out. I promise you, you will not regret it. It wasn't nominated for a bunch of different awards for no reason, after all. But that's just my opinion. What did you guys think of Minari? Do you agree with me? Do you not? What is your current pick to take home Best Picture at the Oscars this year? I would love to discuss all of these thoughts and then some all down there in the comments. Because I love discussing cinema and all things entertainment, with all of you beautiful viewers out there. And in case you guys are new here, or if you haven't already, if these topics sound appealing to you, please definitely consider hitting that subscribe button down below as hard as you possibly can, because you guys will be the first ones to know any time a new upload hits the channel, and it's also free. And if you guys liked this video also, it would be extremely helpful if you would hit that thumbs up button on your way out. 
that would be awesome. And as always, look out for more exciting content hitting the channel very, very soon. I thank you all so much for watching the video and for supporting the channel up to this point. It really does mean the world. You guys are the best. And with all that being said, back talk, commence! <laughs>